Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to um, answer this question I keep getting in my Instagram DMs, and I've been getting it a bit, it a bit lately, so yeah, I'm just going to answer it now. Um, so, people have been asking me, subscribers or whatever, viewers, and they've been like, oh, do you like Infinite Warfare or Battlefield 1? And my answer to that question would be Battlefield 1. Only because it's just got like just classic boots on the ground. It's all good, and infant warfare it's in space. It's in like the future, and I don't. I'm not sort of a fan of that. Now the Call of Duty community keeps saying like, "Oh, Call of Duty is dead. It needs to be revived with a boots on the ground game or a game in the past." And well, I really think Call of Duty can be revived that way, but, um, for now, I think Battlefield's doing the better things for a lot of people. I think Infinite Warfare, like, it's, it feels a lot slower, like, a lot fucking slower than Black Ops 3. Like, the Exo movement in Black Ops 3 felt a bit faster than what it did, than what it, what it is fucking feeling like in Infinite Warfare, and, um, that's, that's just my opinion, like, the sliding feels a lot slower than Black Ops 3, and then if we look at, um, like, the, the jumping, like, Black Ops 3 jumping feels faster, maybe, and maybe that's why Infinite Warfare feels a bit slower than Black Ops 3, and I know a lot of people have been saying that, and I totally agree with these people. And, um, yeah, I think the, the style of the game's a bit different because of the pace, and that's it, really. Now, the zombies in this game isn't actually the worst zombies I've ever seen because zombies here is actually in the past. Holy shit. Holy shit. A game that's, like, based on 10 billion fucking years in the future has actually put something in the past. Um, I'm not the best zombies player. I, I don't really sort of pick up zombies ever and just like, you know what, I'm going to get uh, prestige on zombies because fuck, why not? <laughs> but yeah, I barely touch the shit and, um, yeah. But playing zombies in Spaceland was a pretty good experience and I think they went for a, a good theme with the whole theme park shit in the 80s. And yeah, and if you've seen the DLC trailer for the next DLC, which is coming in February, um, it shows another Zombies map, but like in the 90s. And uh, if it continues to keep going up and it ends up in the 2000s or even further in the future, I don't think I'll enjoy it as much. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people have been loving the Zombies lately and um, a lot of multiplayer people have been coming from that and being like, yo, Zombies is actually alright in this game. Maybe I shouldn't criticise it and whatever. Fuck that shit that the... Exo rabbit shit jump wall run on every fucking wall in the map. Get behind someone with a suppressed LMG extended mags. Fucking kill him. Shit. That you know that game? Um Infinite Wolf. Oh yeah, we're on a battlefield now, fuck that. Anyway, Battlefield One has just blown everyone's mind. It's it's literally the best World War One game I've seen ever. And I thought Verdun was good, right? Verdun was pretty good. But this is a whole new level of pretty fucking good. It looks absolutely stunning. Like, you've got you've got realistic-looking bushes and shit. And then you've got operations. This game mode is so good. It's, it's like, gives you more of the feel for, like, the actual game intentions to make you feel like you're in the war. And... The, the guns in this game, man. They're so much more balanced than what they are in Call of Duty. Like, because... If you've got an assault gun... And you take on a medic... The assault would normally win. But medic can still win... Because of damage, right? Right? But assault just has the fire rate. And, um, yeah. 
that sort of brings me into classes. Classes on multiplayer on this, you've got Assault, you've got Medic, you've got Support, and you've got Scout. Assault has like the SMGs and the shotguns and that type of shit. And yeah, and um, the MP18, which is the first gun you start off with, unless you have the pre order one of the pre ordered editions where you get the Hellfighter trench gun, which is, I, I do recommend that. Um, the, anyway, the MP18 is, I recommend you put your sensitivity down a bit unless you're really good, um, otherwise, you won't be hitting shit. And with the trench gun type stuff, you can, you can just run around like. Call of Duty style, like, and just shit on everyone. And moving on to the medic class, right? So, the medic class, uh, you gotta be very good at timing your shots um, to be good with the medic class because the medic class, it, you shoot one bullet, and I, I, f I f oh my god, I promise you, it'll go left, right some shit, it won't do what you fucking want, and, uh, yeah, even if you get the optical variant for that gun, it's, it's still gonna go messy, it's like, whoever made that game, the, the fucking medic class, was drunk, and, <laughs> it just, what the fuck, anyway, um, yeah, you can also revive people with the medic clutch, which I think is really cool. But I don't, th I've never, I've, no I've never really revived anyone with the medic class. <laughs> but um, I think if the person gets melee, I don't think you can revive them. But if you revive them, like if they just get shot regularly, die. Yeah, just no one cares. If you revive them and then they die again, I don't think you can revive them again. <laughs> That sounds so bad from my, oh my god, I feel like an absolute noob, I probably am, but um, yeah, you, like, and ma I don't know if, if they get run over by a tank, you can revive them or not, I just, I don't even, I don't even do that type of shit, I play with the scout class, anyway, moving on to the support class, the support class is like the LMG class and the refill your ammo shit and the repair, I don't know if, because it's called support, it's just intentionally done for, so that you're just there to suppress the enemy and not actually kill people, because Jesus Christ, the fucking support guns have absolutely poop damage. You, you'd, sh you'd shoot someone, like, 20 fucking times and you get so many hits, it's not funny. And then, you just finish them off with a pistol or something. But, yeah, I, I, I reckon it's just for, like, the suppression assists, which you get. And, um, just assist cancers kill and all that shit. Because it just lowers their health. So, you, it's basically supporting it. And then you just finish them the fuck off. You just absolutely shit all over them with whatever you've got. Because that's all you can do these days. And, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the scout class. Um, the scout class is basically your sniper camp at the back of the map behind a rock in the mountains and do that shit because why not, right? So the starting, the starting um, uh, sniper for the scout class. I recommend you get so you get those warbonds to get that thing fucking out of your sight. The scope on that shit, I know it's World War One and it's being accurate with history, but it's absolute crap. Just use it with the, the iron sights, get the infantry variant, get the SMLE marksman, or the infantry, or the gewehr, or, or the, um, the, the Russian 1895, I think it is. Or the bloody Martini Henry when you level up to level 10 because it's a lot of bullshit. And then the Martini um, Henry is like the best gun. Just just do that. Because this, the fucking starting sniper with the scope I, I reckon is absolute shit. And um, yeah. Moving on to the grenades. There's a whole heap of fucking different grenades in this game. I'm like, well there actually is an infinite warfare. But I reckon grenades in this game are more fucked up than ever. Even though it's actually historically accurate, so they're not really fucked up. Like, anyway, the, you have a gas grenade. 
this isn't very effective because people would have worked out by now that you just pressed up on the D-pad to put your gas mask on. And if you didn't know that, you're pretty shit. And um, there's the incendiary grenade, which like bursts into a whole heap of fucking flames. I still don't recommend that because all you got to do is run a bit and then go prone and it sort of works off that fire. So it's like stop, drop, roll type shit. Then there's the just regular frag. Which I would recommend, um, because it's just a frag, right? There's an impact grenade, which, like, you throw, it, it'll hit the ground, like, one time, one second later, bang! Bitches are dead. Um, I do use that shit, uh, it's not the greatest, but it's pretty good. Then you have a mini frag, I think, I don't know, something small, and it's, it's like a frag, uh... It's just small, so you can throw it further with a, a, a tiny reduced damage. Tiny. Tiny. Just barely any reduced damage. Yep. Anyway, guys, I reckon Battlefield is done this year. Better than Call of Duty. Not really this year, this time around. Anyways, um, I just want to give a couple of shout-outs to... No, to uh, WillMFS and Harry Skills, links will be in the description. Check them out, leave a like on a couple of videos, actually watch them as well. Don't just click on the video, like the shit, go back, find another video, click like, and then go back again, and then hit the subscribe button and leave. Just go over there, actually watch a couple of videos you might be interested in, like them, subscribe, yeah, and um. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you guys all later in another video. Thanks for watching.